So what's up everybody? This is Ryan from Freedom Foods Farm. Today we have a lot to do. Well, we have a lot to do because uh, in a couple days there's a pretty good chance that we're going to have an ice storm and it's going to get cold and we just got to prepare for it. So a couple things that we got to do is we got to take care of the cows and then uh, we're going to get to uh, doing a weigh-in of little our little calf Rosemary because she is officially a week old today. But what we have to do first, and they're all waiting for me, is we're gonna move out, we're gonna move the cows back out to pasture, this pasture back here, because it's gonna get pretty cold, because it's gonna get icy, and, and because of basically wherever they step, it's gonna break the grass, because that's what happened in the last ice storm. And out here, it doesn't look like much, but there's quite a bit. And what we learned from from the last hard freeze is that uh, the grass that turns green and grows in the winter time, um, when it freezes that hard in the teens. It looks like this. So there's some green grass out there, and if we don't get it now, it'll just turn brown and go dormant. So let's get the green in them now. They're gonna. I'm not gonna bother setting up a wire or anything. I have the. We have an electric fence running like right back here. That's gonna section off this section. It's probably a good four and a half, five acres, and I'm just gonna let them out for at least two, maybe three days. So when the the ice storm hits, they're going to be back in here and we can get everything back going to normal. So as they're impatiently waiting, let's uh, let's get them out. Hey cows! Come on cow cows, come on! Come on cows, hey, hey, hey. Let them out. Come on cow cows, come on! Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Go out there, get out, come on. Everybody, let's go. You guys are ready. Go on. Come on. Everybody's moving out. Let's go. Boys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Easy, Billy. Okay. Good cow. So I can already tell Ellie's not happy about not moving with the herd. Same thing with Skywalker and where's the little calf at? Where are you at? There you are. It's okay. You're going to stay in here, okay? You have plenty of hay. You have plenty of water. I just need you to stay in here because what happened last time. I just really don't feel like going and chasing cows and when the ice storm hits I want to keep them separated again. So we're just going to leave them. They have they have a whole big old bale of hay in there and they're, they're fine in there. So we're going to leave them in there for, for now. So they were very eager to move out and they're just going to go get a little bit of stockpile that we have out there. And it's not, it's not much, but it'll hold them for a couple days. One of the reasons why I went so heavy on the Longhorns is, I know some people don't understand it, but there's a, there's a method to my madness, I promise you that. And uh, I've done whole videos explaining, you know, why. But this, this little calf here just confirms everything that I've talked about. Everything that, you know, all the reasons why we have so many Longhorns here and we're going so Longhorn heavy. A day after she was born, after the craziness of trying to get all the cows back into the corrals, brought a scale out here we put it on the concrete um, little slab that we have next to the barn and uh, I picked up a little rosemary and I weighed her you know I got on and then deducted my weight from me holding her and did it three times to make sure it was accurate she came out to be 36.8 pounds and that really is considered tiny for a baby calf just any calf any size and that's why I love the Longhorns. You know, there's so many, there's so many uh, cows now that have so many issues because the way that the industry works, it's how much weight can we pack on the fastest? So, you know, 20, 30 years ago, the, you know, cattle ranchers were going, oh, we want big calves, we want big calves. And then they realized that was a mistake because calves got too big and now there's a there's more than there should be calving issues yes ellie yeah you're right you know that's what they sounded like when the calves are trying to come out because they're just they're just too big some of these calves weigh you know 100 pounds and that's too big for a cow or a god forbid a heifer to have that's why there's been such an emphasis on low birth weight bulls there's such an emphasis on really low birth weight bulls oh this one's confirmed low birth weight and the reason it became a problem is because cattle ranchers bred calves that came out bigger 
to other cows or other calves that came out bigger and it just it became an issue the longhorn weren't you know they're not considered a beef a typical beef breed and they weren't they weren't bred like that they were bred more just like they were out in the wild when they were roaming around a few hundred years ago and that's why you look at it now longhorns they have if not the lowest birth weight of a, of a full grown um, you know of a full full grown cow the one of the top two or three and they're they're known for their calving ease I think it's like four out of a thousand that have any sort of issue Ellie little heifer here <clears throat> she's not terribly big but she's not terribly small either had no issues with our little calf why because it's only 36.8 pounds with our first calf Skywalker his mama was only you know 14 15 months old and that's that's way too young to have a calf but um, my friend that I got him from his bull bred her but thankfully it was a very low birth weight bull they know what they're doing and Dolly was able to handle Skywalker and have him come out with ease but 36.8 pounds for a little calf that is exactly what we're looking for that's what exactly what we're happy with we want calves that come out small and then uh, they grow up pretty quickly so it's a, a week that we weighed in and now I'm gonna go get the scale out and to try and film this is I tried but it's it's a process so I'm gonna go try and uh, get the little baby calf get on the scale and see what she comes out to be a week later and see how fast She's growing. So I just spent the better part of five minutes trying to chase this little baby around. Picked her up once, but she is very strong, aren't you now? And you are now very heavy and very fast. And mama didn't like it too much. So we're gonna just kind of guesstimate. You were not happy with me trying to do that. And you're not trying to cooperate very much, are you? Why, because you're super fast now, aren't you? I know, I know. Okay, yeah. I know, you didn't like that, I know, I know. But you know me, and I know you, and you're gonna just chill for a little bit, okay? Can we show off your speed? These two here have been playing <laughs> like you wouldn't believe. They'll come, they'll touch noses, and run away. Come, touch noses, run away, huh? Look at you. Look how fast you are. Okay, you're going, okay, you're going to the barn. I was able to pick her up for a second, and my best guess is she's she's a lot heavier she's a lot heavier than she first was she's probably gained 10 pounds she's legitimately probably gained maybe maybe more because she's she's spunky she's spry i mean maybe you should try and do this when she's asleep but again mama over there she wasn't really digging it so she's healthy she's moving around good she's a lot heavier than she was so that's uh that's my scientific uh, jot down for the week. So long story short, her and Jordan, our, uh, our bull, produce a tiny little calf that is growing up very well. Can we see her? Oh, there she is under there. And you? I know, I know. So the plan is for them to stay over in here, eat on this bale of hay that uh, Skywalker's right next to. And it's not like they're gonna be over here by themselves for very long. We're gonna probably keep them in here until the spring flushes, the spring flush hits, and we move them out to pasture. But about a week from now, we're expecting another calf. Yoli is like, well, not this close, about a week away. However, however big a week is, um, she's about a week away, and thankfully it's gonna be like right after this ice storm hits. So hopefully it doesn't come early. Because that would not be that would not be very fun for anybody involved. And then with Yoli's calf, it should be a lot less mobile and spry as uh, this one over here. So we'll be able to see. Hey, is it consistent? And uh, see, okay, Jordan, you're producing. You know, hopefully, right around the same. You know, we're looking. If we're between 35 and 45 pounds, we're we're pretty happy with that. You know, I think bulls come in just maybe a little bit heavier. So. Hey, that, that, that range, we are right on track for exactly what we want. And then hopefully, this little guy right here is able to do the same thing. Huh. We're going to get, are you going to be able to grow up and give us perfect little calves like Jordan? Hopefully, okay? Anybody? Okay, 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 good boy. 